what is the trade deficit? Specifically, it is a negative balance of the goods and services we trade with a foreign nation. The United States lost $7.4 trillion between 2000 and 2011, and we currently lose about $1.2 million every single minute. Each and every day, the docks are lined with ships carrying foreign-made products, products that we once produced for ourselves. Most of these goods come from Mexico, Canada, Japan, and Germany. But our biggest and most concerning trade deficit is with China. With a $295 billion imbalance over us in 2011, the Chinese had the biggest surplus in history. If the trade deficit is costing America both its wealth and its jobs, who is actually benefiting from this broken policy? Wall Street and the multinational corporations that work for their own benefit at the cost of the entire country. But who is looking out for Main Street? As these jobs continue to get shipped overseas, the nation is rapidly closing down one factory at a time. Foreign competition has always existed, but in years past, the United States employed measures to protect its manufacturers from lower wage competing countries. We succeeded because we understood it was critically important to protect our ability to produce what we consume and the means to employ ourselves. That philosophy has since gone by the wayside. The U.S. is now in an incredibly vulnerable state. Thanks to these flawed practices, we no longer produce what we need for everyday consumption. Every day, we borrow $2.8 billion more from other countries just to maintain normal living conditions. Our trade deficit must be reduced before the hole is too deep. If we were to engage in a major military conflict, from where would we buy our defenses? What would happen to our delicate balance if these other countries decided to reduce or stop altogether their lending spree? What would happen if another major shock like 9-11 occurred in our economy? If the United States does not re-examine its trade practices immediately, the answers to these questions will be both real and terrifying.